HMO here. I've been asked to, uh, everybody wants to see what my settings are in VR when I'm running Star Citizen, so we'll, uh, we'll do that. Uh, once again, you just start your Oculus, fire up your Vorp X, let it load. It will automatically load the pro profile if you've already downloaded it. Looks like we're fired up here. We'll start Star Citizen. It's attaching. Choo, choo, choo. And we're pretty much in. Always set your head tracking when you go in. Okay. Let's see. We'll uh, kick on our mirror mode. That first thing we'll do, we'll go down to options. will be the first thing you'll want to look at. If you want to be able to use your head tracking like I do, you'll want to go into controls. You'll want to go to mouse. And you'll want to make sure that your flight movement, if you want to use your HMD for movement like I do, you'll want to make sure everything is set to no, not yaw and pitch. Just run through it. As you can see, everything's pretty much no. Now, I have not set it up for gimbals yet. These, uh, these settings will change i haven't played with the gimbals yet not been happy with the head tracking i have not set move the sensitivity curve you can leave those alone but make sure in options on mouse if you want to be able to look around without moving your ship yawn pitch make sure flight modes are off no 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 Okay, that's rule number one. Now that we're there, we'll, uh, uh, let's see, we'll go up in here. We'll go into our, uh, we'll go into, uh, turn the mirrors on. I'll show you what we have. Hopefully full screen mirrors. You should be able to see it now. We'll go back to page one. Hopefully you can see these mirrors. I have it on immersive. You can use any of them. Cinema mode works really well. If you want to adjust your focal, I mean, if you want to address your, how far, how close you are to everything. I have, uh, Full VR mode will give you a warning. I have had no trouble with it. I've just been running it in immersive. As you can three, see, I've been using Z normal. You can use Z adaptive. It works. You can also use geometry. Geometry is a lot more intense 3D. You can actually turn it up and you can pick the rocks up off the ground and they're floating in the air. Your strength scale in 3D geometry does not have to be as high as you can see I have it set for 0.17 and I get quite a bit of 3d depth at that version so keep it down and you'll adjust it to your preference but I've been using a uh, been using immersive I've been using Z normal and I have turned the strength up to 2 because you'll have to use more strength if you're using Z normal. Depth, near and far, I've got it centralized. Find it works the best. I have my focal distance all set to 0 0.03. Uh, you need to be around zero. To, and negative number most likely won't work at all, but you'll need to, don't increase it more than 0 0.3, but 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03. Play with it till it's comfortable to you. 
head tracking multiplier, you'll want it up as high as it will go. I have it maxed. Image settings. I have been using Crystal Image Normal. I have not messed with the brightness or saturation. So far it seems fine inside the game. You can sharpen the game a little bit if you need to or want to. I have had no problems. HUD scale floats the HUD in front of your face. Um, I have found I have left it at default, which is one. I haven't had to change it. Uh, you may want to, depending on how you want to look, how you want to see your HUDs in the game. And it's just not your spaceship HUD. It's the stuff for your for your uh, character too. Display settings, just leave them alone. Uh, if we could get uh, if we could get 90 frames per second in Star Citizens, you would turn the, the render and sync off, but we do not. So if you do not want a bad VR experience, you want to leave the render on because it tries to compensate for the bad frame rate. So leave it on for the best experience. Unless you're getting 90 frames per minute, that holds true for every game you play. Uh, I play a lot of games in VR, port a lot in. AAA titles, some of them will hit 90 frames per second, some won't. If they won't, and they're less than 60, you want to leave these options on all the time. Head tracking, you want on, of course. Sensitivity, I've got it kicked up to 1.5. It still may be a little sensitive. What you'll find in find when you're using your head tracking to look around, it will run your mouse, and your mouse is too sensitive. It's hard to click on things because the littlest head movement will move your mouse, of course. I have roll on. I, you will not have to uh, change the uh, tracking settings, uh, the axis settings. They're just fine. Some games you have to. I, this Oculus, you can actually see Oculus control settings in game. I don't know if you can when the mirrors are on or not. But they actually do show up, uh, just like I'm looking right now. I'm looking at my uh, um, touch controllers. I don't use them, so turn it off. You don't need them to screw things up. But they will work, and they are visual in the game. Mace mouse gamepad settings. I turned... Uh, right now, I have the gamepad buttons off you can use them um, for uh, this um, control panel control as you can see thumbstick menu and edge peak I for now I have them off because I have not set up set them up to uh, I have not set them up to uh, my gamepad to be able to run this yet while I'm on the ground which I will because using the keyboard is just a pain in the ass of course Menu hot settings, you can set up that you have hot keys when you want to use them for your menus and stuff. I haven't set them up, haven't needed them. But there you have it. There's my settings. It's what I'm using in this game. Uh, like I say, 3D reconstruction, all modes work. 3D geometry is the most aggressive and will change the most things in the game. It also takes the most horsepower to run. As I have found out that Z-Normal for me works just fine. Everything is 3D, and I don't want stuff floating on the ground. Uh, so I don't need to force the geometry to pick rocks up. <laughs> but you'll have personal preference, and uh, that's the way that works. Near far, if you want the uh, depth weighting to be more at a distance and closer to you, I like it half and half. I like a really nice cockpit. And I like the things I'm looking at to look 3D, so I have it balanced. Focal distance just changes your focus a little bit. You get too high, it will give you a headache. Uh, I use it enough that I get good 3D depth. And that's exactly what I use it for. But there you go. There's a short video on my settings and how you get the head tracking set up for look around versus... Uh, versus your mouse movement. Make sure you always hit OK and save when you're done because it will not save your new settings unless you do. It'll 
go back to the old ones.